we created a product, our cleansing balm, and decided to not include microplastics because of the environment. But can they also cause cancer? That's a great question. There's too much to address, but I'll cover as much as I can. Starting with Susan's statement that she opted to not use microplastics since they're generally not relevant to balm cleanser formulations. I reached out to see what she meant, but got no response. Judging by her website, I believe she means liquid polyethylene and PEG ingredients. To be microplastic by definition, things have to be solid and not water soluble. These both fundamentally aren't microplastics. It should be noted her cleansing balm is packaged in plastic and things like plastic packaging are demonstrably the greatest contributor to microplastic pollution. From a full life cycle perspective, often plastic packaging reduces total environmental impact in many product cases. While there are merits, what was said, is misleading. There was a study done and they found that nanoplastics were found in these people's arteries. There was a risk associated with heart attacks, strokes, and death. Just because they're clogging. Yeah. I think he's talking about this study, but that wasn't actually what it said. For one, microplastics were not blocking arteries. The authors also explicitly said that their findings were purely observational and couldn't be determined to be the cause of the issue. Microplastic research currently has a ton of uncertainty, with many studies who find things like microplastics in your blood later refuted due to things like sample contamination. What's a big problem in this area of research? Iffy studies with sensational headlines get massive media coverage, and their refutations or retractions don't. Later on, Tim brings up that black plastic study that went viral as a reason to not use black plastic spatulas. That study had basic math errors that, once corrected for, ended up pointing to safety. We have a huge issue with medfluencers spreading misinformation with zero repercussions. Just because someone is credentialed does not mean they're credible. In this example, Tim either didn't read the studies he talked about, or did, and is just bad at critically appraising. As someone navigating the interwebs, beware of your appeal to authority bias.